Good evening. This is Radio Free Rog broadcasting from Sunny Mill Hill. I'm just putting a little message out to remind a few people who really should know better something that they seem to have gotten. Six months ago, I spent about six weeks of my life walking around Mill Hill wearing one of these. I was the Lib Dem candidate for the council for Mill Hill along with a couple of other worthy local characters. We went around trying to get across a message that we would do our very best to make things better. We were trying to persuade people that maybe it was time for a change. Now, I was proud of what I did. I met a lot of good people. I learned a lot of things about Mill Hill. And I have no regrets that I tried to make a difference. However, today I find myself in a position where things have changed a little bit. The party I joined last year and I stood for is supporting a policy whereby they want to increase tuition fees for young people attending university. I believe that this is totally wrong. So do the vast majority of the candidates who stood in the last election because it was part of our policy to oppose it. All of our MPs signed pledges. Now, you can't change party policy on the hoof just because your coalition partners think it's a good idea. You can say no. And there are some things you really ought to say no to. Now, I spent six weeks every single day, four, five, six hours a day, walking up and down streets, knocking on people's door. The reason I did it was because I actually wanted to make things better. Now those people are turning around to me and saying, you've let us down. Well, the candidates who stood haven't let you down. The people who knocked on your door, put leaflets through, haven't let you down. The people who have let you down are the MPs. And it really is time for all of the activists, all of the people to turn around and say, this is the wrong policy. Now, it's not some minor little thing. It's something that in... 5, 10, 15, 20 years will make the country a worse place. All of the people who are going to university now will be saddled with debt. It will put talented people off. This country, we don't make anything very much anymore. So we rely on our future prosperity, on our wealth creators. And the more of them you put off, the more it's going to damage the country. Now, you know, it's all very well saying, oh, we've got to do this. Labour have ruined the economy. Labour have spent all the money. But you have to invest in the future. If you don't invest, then basically you're not going to have a future. You're not going to have anything. You're not going to have any way to pay the bills, to pay the taxes, anything. Because basically we've been overtaken on the management, on the manufacturing front. All we make money on now is banking which is in a right old state, and intellectual capability. And if you undermine intellectual capability, there's nothing much left. So my message to all of you people out there, regardless of whether you're Tories, Lib Dems or Labour, is think again. It is time that we invested in the future. It's time... I, I believe that there shouldn't be any tuition fees. I believe we should go back to the old system where there's a grant. And how should we pay for it? Basically, what we should do is we should up income tax. We should say, this is too important. If we want to have a country that's successful, we need to educate our young people. And we're going to pay for it and we're going to fund it properly. There's enough rubbish we pay for. There's enough crap out there that is going to be done. There's enough people sitting around doing non-jobs everywhere that we can afford to pay for better tuition, better colleges, better education. This isn't a poor country. You walk up and down any road in London and you walk past a couple of millions of pounds worth of property. There's plenty of money there. It's just the fact that people are too scared to stand up and say, now, what I'm saying to you is I'm saying to you, don't take this. Lobby your MPs. Lobby your councillors. Say, we don't accept these arguments because they're wrong. There's nothing good about raising tuition fees. It, it, what it means is it means that the only people who are going to go to university are those who are convinced they can pay it back. Go along. If you're a young person, go along to your MP's surgery. Ask them this question. Did you pay tuition fees? Did you leave university in debt? I can bet you, bottom dollar, they'll all say no. Why should you? Now... 
basically, in effect, what tuition fees are is they're a tax on learning. And only an idiot would support that. So what you should be saying to them is, you didn't pay, why should I? They, all these people like David Cameron, they didn't pay tuition fees. So why should they inflict it on another generation? But ultimately, it's tax. University students will end up paying higher rates of tax because they will become wealth generators. And to do anything that stops this is plain bonkers. Now, basically, maybe you want to live in a country where everyone's thick and we don't produce anything, but I don't. So my word to you, my word to everyone who got one of these rosettes and went out on the streets is remember what you stood for, remember your moral principles and stand up for them. There's no shame in saying, I'm going to stand up for what I signed up to, for what I got elected for. There's no shame at all. So basically, remember why you wore this rosette. Get out back there and fight for your principles. You'll be, you'll be doing the Tories a favour if you overturn this. Fund education properly. If it means putting another couple of pence on income tax, so be it. You know, that's the price that you have to pay to have proper education. That's the price you have to pay for your future. This is Radio Free World, Rock, <laughs> signing off.